What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Group Americana, Mario, and the champ, Kill Breeze. And welcome to Wrestling Rants 901. You did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like us, Facebook, the IG, follow us, subscribe, YouTube, and don't forget to press that like button. What we talking about, bro? AEW versus NXT. Yes, sir. Wednesday just got so much better. They might be offering putting overdrive back in. So we did a coin toss before the video and uh, to decide which one we was going to talk about first in this whole breakdown. And who won the coin toss? AEW. So we're going to break that up. AEW Dynamite. Let's go. All right, so first things first, the American Nightmare, Cody, Cody up in Rose. Yes, sir, versus Sammy Guevara. I can't ever say his last name right. I'm you know what? I've been practicing it because I honestly, in my head, I want to say Sonny, uh, Sammy Guerrero. Me too. <laughs> it just, that's, that's not his name. So I'm glad you said it because I would have butchered please, his please, name. Please, he's Mexican. He's from Texas. I mean, not that's just observation, but uh, and yeah, I know a Guevara. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, yo, the match was amazing. But you know, I have to stop for a minute and talk about my favorite thing in wrestling: pyro. They had pyro. Yes, they had pyro. Oh, I love pyro. I like pyro. I do like pyro. No, you like? I love pyro. He loves pyro. I love. Pyro. It's like, even when I make wrestling games, all my creative wrestlers have Pyro. Here you. So we have Pyro on this show. Pyro, just know, Pyro, Pyro! Just know, pyro, we, have, just pyro, know we have Pyro on here. He's the one behind it. Hey, I go to the shows, and you know, I have flashbacks. You know, I have a little PTSD sometimes. So when I hear it, it's like, <laughs> well, you know, but I still love it anyway. Anyway, Pyro's a great cause. When you go to a live show and they had the Pyro, like so the come out, you can smell the smoke and it just yes. feels so. All right, okay, 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 okay. okay, 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 okay. Topic, All right, bad. sorry, my bad. Sorry. Now, that was my fault. I just got sorry. excited about the Pyro. But anyway, back to Sammy and Cody. Good match, good great match indeed. Oh, great man. match, man. Very athletic guy, uh, Sammy. Like I just little flippies, little jumping in the box with, uh, with uh, Brandy though. Yeah. Look a little painful. I, I, I mean, she it, took her shoes off. You can tell she was pissed. It, 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 but it did get him a heel push that kind of put him over. So yeah, they doing that. Like, like yeah. the, sold out too, by the way. And, the, and, you, and you know, I was kind of I thought they was gonna they, be like in a small little arena, but they, 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 they was a the one that was a big crowd. Yeah, one and they man. sold out. So thumbs up for yeah, that. Yeah, that's definitely good, man. Uh, but yeah, they need that yeah, that was a show. great, um, great match. Like, I mean. The result code winning, of course, I knew that was gonna happen. Come on, people. true. But I'm not gonna lie, I was a little on the edge, a little bit like, man, I think uh, Sammy might pull it out. Cause he did some but, good moves, man. He man. Has, then he tried to move, saw Cody move. Then tried for another move, saw Cody move. Then yeah, rolling. Four fifty, got yeah. you that time. So I'm like, this dude can't play Cody. Yeah, I'm telling you, mine too. Though, winning loss records. I saw that. Man. I noticed that. I, I I liked it. That's something that no one else is doing. Like they have here. Every when they come out, they have that win loss record. Yep. They win That's loss true. and tie actually. Yeah, win loss tie. And yep. then they, then you have the singles overall. Then you have a tag uh, team uh, record. Then you have the trios record. Mm -hmm. They break it down for every single match. So that was, that was That's like, cool. Yeah, that That's cool. Yeah. So win losses matter. Yeah. And they do. And I, I like that. I, I, I'm. I'm that's cool. I that's, loved it. I like good positive different things like that. You that's know, cool. so that's big positive for AEW, the whole entire breakdown of who's winning and losing something. Now my thing is, and I'm not gonna lean or talk about this, but for like that, yeah. Um do you do it like a see regular season or does it go throughout the entire wrestling career at AEW? Like how are we doing this? Like is it like know. every year? Like, you know, they're doing a, like a season-based thing where every year it resets, like in the NFL, NBA, yeah, and so on and so forth. I don't know. That's, that's something to look, look into. I mean, it, that's something to That's a good question. I don't know. Yeah. Cause, I mean, the reason I said it because they have an overall, too. Yeah. For win losses. So, and, and then they have yeah. singles. That's so, yeah. I like every year, like, will the overall be like the overall win-loss throughout the entire hmm. career? And then the singles will be like every season will reset to zero? I don't know. That's... 
You know, that's something, you know, I would think that would be a good idea. Moving on. Yeah, to reset uh, it. So, next, but we thought we were going to talk about... We thought we were going to get an interview with Tony Schiavone and Cody, but what happened? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, Chris Jericho came out and, um... Yeah, yeah man, beat his butt. Yeah. Something serious. Yeah, that was... He, he, but he did say he didn't want to wrestle him and all of this. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, um... Damn! There, I just said that was really good. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, I'm trying to be cool about it, but yo, don't like, be cool. Don't be cool. Fuck it, man. Let it all out. Let it all out. You know what? Let it all out. Let it out. Hey, you know, like, that in the, you know what I mean? I'm energized like a mug, but man, it ain't that big of a deal to me. I guess. Okay. Okay. Whatever. No, I was serious though. <laughs> No, but seriously though, like the whole entire interference at the end, because I like how Sammy and Cody shook hands and then the whole, right when the interview about star, he went out there and, you know, kind of beat up on Cody a little bit to move on to the next match, which I'm not really want to talk about MJF and uh, Bernie yeah. Color. Yeah. Filler match. Anyway. Filler match. Anyway, yeah. moving on. Uh, but I do want to talk about this one. What match? Pac, the bastard Pac. <laughs> they call me the bastard. I love it. I mean, the bastard. <laughs> yeah. And, hey, man, Adam Page. Oh, man. man. Oh, man. Page bastard. has a bright future. Page has a bright future. Yeah, I hate that he hasn't won a single match, though. <laughs> and his, uh, his record's looking kind of sad right now. And Pac is undefeated. Yes. Yeah, I mean. And he beat Two Miller of the Elite. He beat Kenny and he beat Page. So. He's getting what he deserves. Yeah. He, he well, you know, I, I love what they talk about, and I mentioned this in the last video. Chip on shoulder. Yeah. And they really talked a lot about that with him. Like his whole, you know, thing. Like him feeling like he has a big chip on his shoulder. Feeling like he's the best or he's not appreciated yeah. in the world of wrestling. Even though he went two years undefeated, so on and so forth. With, you know, yeah. and that, that, that continuity and that continuality... And really just kind of like hinting at his past with WWE in particular. It's really good. And mm -hmm. I mean, it really pushes him as a heel. I'm rooting for him. Heel or babyface. Yeah. I honestly love him as a heel. Yeah. I, I always say, even when he was in WWE, yeah. he was a better heel. Because he came back to the King of Cruiserweight thing. And how he, I loved it. And it, it didn't elevate the Cruiserweight division when he came back as a heel. Yeah, he he all smiley, jolly go elf like him. You know what? I always said he looked like him because he reminded me like if the Green Goblin was real, it would look like him. True. <laughs> it does. I'm just saying he looked like a real like goblin or something. Like he looked like a troll. Like he come out and give me your gold. You little bastards. You little bastards. <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, but I, I, yeah. I've always liked him. Man, I saw like NXT. Blue eyes though. He did. Oh man, that looked painful. Yeah. Like the uh, Adam really sold up. <laughs> Ooh, he did. And it showed that man, he still can fly in the air like that. The man that Gravity forgot. Still the man who that Gravity forgot. That ain't gonna never change. So man, big old JR from Brandon saying that too. The man that Gravity got, like yes, he is, still is, and it always will be. Good to see JR back on TV too. Yeah. Good to have him in. And it's funny that the last time we had a quote unquote wrestling war. Tony Schiavone and JR was on different sides of the team. Right, yeah. And now we got them on the same team yeah, on Tony, TNT. Yeah. Oh. And Tony Schiavone actually brought that up too. Like, it's been almost, you know, 20 years Man. since WCW Monday Nitro 2001. Man. Was on It's just, it's funny TNT. how time changed and how yeah, things changed. Yeah, how dynamic changed. They brought back Tony Schiavone, man. And Jared the same and I was and, it's, and I was saying to myself, like, it's amazing to me that he never went to WWE. Dude. Yeah. He was at Impact. And, I mean, he, he was a great commentary trader while he was there. But he should be in, really yeah. should be, he's a Hall of Fame caliber commentator. Yeah. Straight up. Because when I was growing up, when I watched Nitro, he was the voice. When I watched Raw, JR was the voice. And then you got these guys together on AEW. It's like, that's amazing. Man, that, I that's. I'm not going to lie. I would have never thought I would see me neither. Or something like that. Me that's neither. As far as that was the best commentators in yeah. all time together. Yeah, that's that's a huge yeah. shock. Yeah, yeah, man. Because AEW yeah. pulled it off. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this women's match. First of all, the women's championship match. Rio won, which I'm so happy. Me too. Not a rose trash. She is trash. trash. Sorry, but trash. 
Why didn't they? Why didn't they use like Awesome Kong or Britt Baker or even Brandy? Why did they use? I, I just don't. I don't, I don't. I don't. I'm not here for her. Sorry. Peek the sad face. Hmm. I'm just saying, man. I, I I just feel like Rio was amazing. Yeah. But this is what what I when I when I um talking about off camera, man. Like how you can have a great match or one wrestler can do so great. And then the other person just does such a horrible job. And botches so much. Man. And botches so much that it just turns the whole entire match itself into a complete dud. Yeah. And that's pretty much what that match was. Yeah. Rio pretty much doing some of her best work because she's a great worker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not seeing her in Japan or seeing her even at the AEW events like the three woman tag team match she was in, yeah. she can go. Mm -hmm. You know, so but that's true. If both parties are not good in the ring, to if somebody's coming in botching, it, it messes up the match. Yeah, it, it throws the flow off. Yeah, man. If I graded that right now, just because of Nyla Rose, I would have to give it like a C minus or a D, because true. even though not Rio was like an A mm -hmm. plus, yeah, you had an F grade performer who was giving you trash everything just horrible i mean yeah, I even agree. like the entire like out the ring stuff she was doing and anyway moving on man let's she almost broke michael not because i was trying to power bone him oh yes i she, forgot about she that she tried to power bone could have broke his neck because she had to Ugh. i'm like what the f oh man that's gonna let her do that man that, that was uh, that was <sighs> as you can see man we i think we i'm feeling a little bit like not as enthusiastic about aw ironically I, yeah, I was so hyped until we talked about Maybe we shouldn't have talked about this match, man. Like, That's, this match just, like, killed my whole... Let's go on to something else, please. Another match. Because that match did kind of kill it, man. Jeez. Just good, <sighs> just my mental in the toilet, man. But the, the main event, though, the Elite versus Jericho and LAX. Yeah! Santana Ortiz, baby. Man. I like them, man. I, I like I, them I when do, they man. make that surprise. I, I liked them. I'm like, I like, I, I, I've always I been a fan of LAX, man. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. When the old LAX to now, I, yeah. I like them. With Conan and stuff and all this stuff. And yeah. Yeah, man. But and they roll in Jericho, so that gives you, they give you a little boost when you roll yeah. somebody on Jericho's level. They can't kind of put your name yeah, out there. Yeah, but let's, let's, let's go ahead. Let's, let's skip somewhere in the middle during the match where John Moffley came and beat up. Kenny man. Omega, man, and they pretty much brutalized yourself into the back near the VIP area. You put to a glass table. Put a glass table, man. A glass table. <laughs> a glass like, table. Really? All right, so. Man, that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm a, and then, at the end, let's go to the end. Jack Hager made his appearance. For those who don't know who Jack Hager are. Jack Swagger, baby. Yes, for those who aren't keeping up with rest like you should. That's who Undefeated he is. MMA and Bellator, baby. That's who Jake Hager is, Jack Swagger. Anyway, he made his debut. You know, and this is why I was talking. Let me go talk about chips on the shoulders again for a Again. Okay. If y'all watch that little pre show to Countdown to Dynamite, I'm noticing a trend, right? And follow me for a second, right? So, this is pretty much what AEW is at this point, or, or their signees at this point. It's a lot of wrestling with chips on their shoulders. Jack Swagger. Yep. Cody Rhodes. Yep. Pac. Yep. And John Moxley. Yep. All of them have chips on their shoulders. Leaving Big chips. Man, boulders. And, and they deserve to have them. Because they are all a great talent, in my opinion. And they deserve better treatment than they got in WWE. All four, all the guys. Great you talent. You can't even say Jim Ross had a chip on his shoulder because even though he... They was, slaughtered him. They slaughtered him. They slaughtered him. They used to treat him like, like complete garbage. And it would fire him like, like that. Fire him, rehire him, fire him, him. And then, you know, after a while, it's kind of like, you know, you're not going to keep abusing him. Like, I remember that year they fired him because of that whole backstage that, 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 that panel they did at Comic-Con for uh, the uh, WWE 2K uh -huh. game. And because, I guess... Rick Flair, like he did Monday, went off the rails, and they fired him because of it. It's like you and said that you let him get set on fire by Kane. You had him kiss Vince McMahon's ass on TV. You were, you treated your own like shit so many times, and he's one of your best commentators. So that's so. I mean, 
what we get into with this, one thing. AEW, you can definitely see these wrestlers coming in. They're trying to not, I was, and this is one thing I know, they're not coming in the WWE with this whole entire, I mean, sorry, AEW, with this whole thing where, you know, you had Razor Ramon or uh, so Diesel, a.k.a. Yeah. when they came over and became, you know, uh, fuck, shh, can't think of their real names. Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, yeah. yeah. And, you know, Hogan came over and all these other guys from WWE, they uh, came to WCW and they took yeah. over WCW. You can kind of tell that they're not doing the same thing that those guys did. So yeah. that's a plus. And me and my a friend of mine talk about that. We I, we like the fact that the elite are not making it about them. They're not yeah. making the titles about them because they're not holding titles right now. Right. And I like that. Yeah. And I I, I like like I said I agree they're not doing like those they put yeah. the titles on the big names. They're putting on other people. Yeah. Like, Brandy could have easily been women's champion because she's married to Cody. Cody or Kenny could easily been champion. The young books have already been tag champs, but they're not they doing that. They lost the, the Triple A championships. They lost the ladder match. Bros. Like, see, and look at their real records. They're not that good, but... And I like that they're not they making it about them. For them out of year. Yeah, it's not, they're not making it about them. They're making right. it about the company. Yeah. And this, I do, I, agree I, with you. I like that. Yeah. I do respect so, that. So, yeah, I mean, but... At the end of the day, yeah, man, a chip on their shoulders. You can definitely see that these guys are coming yeah. in with that, and they've even mentioned it in certain ways. Especially, uh, all of them actually have in some form, shape, or fashion, mm -hmm. or actually using it. Like I know, John Moxley's mentioned his his mm -hmm. uh, issues with WWE. Cody hasn't been outspoken about it. Pac too. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the biggest reasons. Like in the beginning of AEW, he was kind of like, you know. I'm not finna go through what I went through today. I True. was rather not come to AEW. Y'all gonna treat me like trash. I hate you. We I talked about AEW. Let's talk yeah. about the real. The real. What's up? NXT. No BS. Let's, 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 what? I was thinking. Let's think. What you think? What you think? What you I think? I was thinking, right? Think. So I was thinking. I was sitting down, right? right. I was writing in my pad. Writing in I was. Putting down grades for everything. Grade book. And I graded. What you grade? Every single match in and NXT. Match. Every single match in NXT. <sighs> and AEW. Yeah. And you know what I learned? What you learned? NXT was the better product, yeah. What's the better? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 It was, man. It so was. check it out. So check this out. Let's go ahead. Let's just let's just start from the beginning, right? From the beginning. Where did I start? NXT championship match. Championship match. My man, Adam Cole, baby. And who? The original bro, Matt Riddle? Yes, sir. Matt Riddle? I stole the show for the whole I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to put it this way, man. So many near falls. Oh, so much athleticism. Oh. And oh, my goodness. <sighs> Just an amazing, just technical work. Oh. I seen some. I, I don't think I seen one single botch in there, man. It was just perfect. It was on point. I'm man. just gonna come on here and say it, man. D match of the week. Of the week. Of the week, folks. Week. Of and the it was a lot of good matches this week on wrestling all across the board. But that, I agree, match of the week, man. And you know. It's funny how much more energy I have talking about NXT than I did. I was really kind of getting sad about AEW. And I'm going to tell you why for a minute, folks, why I was so disappointed or so down about talking about AEW. I was expecting a lot going yeah. into the first the season premiere of yeah. AEW Dynamite. Yeah. I mean, you watch all that pay-per-views. Yeah. All out. All out. Fighter Fest. Fighter Fest. All or nothing. And it was... Must see TV. It was, that was dynamite. Those shows were dynamite. And somewhere in the middle, it just fell apart. Man. Confession time. What's up? In the middle of AEW dynamite, I stopped watching. Stopped watching NXT. It's fine, man. I, I watched it through. I, I, I must. You're brave, so. Well, <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm gonna say something for the ladies, the women's title match, man, for a minute. And I'm on it because I still feel like I need to talk a little bit more about Adam Cole <laughs> and Matt Keith. Right, so check this out. You know, those two guys, 
Adam, for one, I just got to say this, man. Undisputed Era is one of the greatest factions in professional wrestling today. Just saying. Better than OC. <laughs> I'm sorry, the elite. Yeah. No, 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 no. This no. Hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not even gonna. Don't say he bought this no. No, I'm not gonna say that. They, it, it's tit for tat. It's kind of like. Yeah, uh, I agree. They. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna toss up right now. Right now, I was, and, and and there's different reasons why I think it's kind of a toss up. I mean, some people might say, "Oh, you're crazy. Undisputed era might be good," and also someone might say, "Oh no, the elite's better." Okay. I'm gonna say this. They both have their own defined traits, but we're not going to get into that because I want to talk about NFC. Maybe later. But anyway, Maybe we talk about our top 10 facts. We'll get into all that later. Hmm. We got a lot of ideas, people. My gosh. <laughs> so hard to contain. <laughs> but NFT does that to Boy. me. NFT oh. does that to oh. me. Oh, but after the match, though. Fan Balor. Oh. Fan the man. Balor Club's back in NFT, baby. What is he? The longest reigning NXT champion in history. And what did he say? He is what? He's back in NXT. He is NXT, baby. And I'm so glad that he's back. You know, honestly. Oh, they just gave him fr fr fresh air back I'm in I'm just saying this, man. Like, they has not used them correctly. They did not right time, he, He's been Ooh. there. Like, he's the inaugural Universal Champion. And right. That was the best thing. For all fans, but they never gave him the opportunity to come back and really be elevated as no. a champion. No. And then that, and that saying, okay, he, he got a singles title. I think he got like in the country title. But title. they didn't even use him good with that. You know, he right. could have really shown how much of a workhorse he is with that belt. But they did. And he put on some great matches while he's at the main roster. I mean, like, he yeah. AJ Styles, one of my favorite of all other periods. Yeah. But I'm just going to say this. Um... I'm glad to have you back, man. Like, for real. I'm we glad. missed you. And he goes to get the real Finn Balor. The NXT Finn Balor. Not that main roster Finn Balor. Smiling just now. All the time. My lovely leather jacket. Hi, guys. We gonna get <laughs> that Finn Balor. Then we see the demon, we know it's gonna be somebody get their butt whooped. Yeah, and so, they really never really truly used the demon right now. No, they yeah. didn't, man. It, it yeah. didn't use it where they should. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this, man. This is a great opportunity for him, and I think yeah. fans are gonna really enjoy what he has to offer. Mm -hmm. And they never, you know, in NXT, I feel like NXT he's gonna be able to work with some of the best wrestlers. Yes. Period. Yes, because I yeah. still feel like NXT has the better wrestlers than both yeah. roster. And they, they not use their wrestlers. Yeah, better. right. So. Triple H, good job on you. Next, next match was it was. Damn, man. Was it was it the women's title match? No, 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 no. That was later. Uh, no, it was. Well, I, Valentine Dream had a segment after that. He was uh basically one of his rematches against Roger Strong. But it's, you know, the dude kind of remind me of Prince's whole gimmick. He's really yeah. Prince like, yeah. Yeah. I like it. I love it. I love that Valentine. It's like it's harder to look away from him. It's like I need to turn away because he's so creepy and weird. But I can't help it. Man, at least he's not wearing heels to the ring. Dude, if he do that, man. I mean, he could go full press where he is. I mean, he hey, has to. Um, no, no, no. As long as he ain't wearing no assless chaps out there with his butt cheeks <laughs> out, we do. If he come out with his butt cheeks out. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I want your place to get him out of here. As long as he don't do that. <laughs> okay, so. Match number two, it was Eo Shirai Yim. Uh, Mia Yim, which, by the way, that's how you do a women's match. It is. Cause that stuff on uh, uh, AEW with Nyla Rose. I'm not giving it no more attention. I'm Nyla about Rose. This. I want to talk about that good me that you and Eosha Man. No, it, man. Moonsault, though? Eosha Rye was a beautiful moonsault. Man, it was. I'm, like, I'm, basically, both women's matches were amazing. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I might as well just go ahead and skip to the. Uh, to, uh, because I think what was the next match after that one? It don't matter. But let's talk. Johnny about match was before his yeah. wife's match, so we're yeah. gonna talk about Johnny's yeah. match a little yeah. later. But yeah. we're gonna talk about these women's matches. Yeah, though. the Candice yeah. LeRae and freaking Shayna the Shayna Baszler, man. I'm gonna say like this. Oh. Part of the four horse women of MMA, she don't play y'all. Two time NFC Women's Champion, only one to do that, people. Not only, not only that. 
I'm a, I'm happy. I, I know you don't want to hear about the Nyla Rose real match for the AEW Women's Championship, but I do need to harp on something. I'm a, and I'm and I'm, I'm just gotta say this because this is me being realistic about a lot of things. First of all, when you think about it, the Rio Nyla Rose match had a lot of parallels to their championship match for the women NXT Women's Championship in the fact. Yeah. Minus the botches. <laughs> but, man, just take a breath. Just take a breath. Fine. Okay. All right. I'm good. <laughs> but when you think about it like this, like seriously though, you had these matches, right? Yeah. And you had Rio and Nyla Rose outside the ring, right? The same thing happened at Shayna Baylor's and Candice LeRae's match. Yeah. They were both in the ring, but you know the difference? The difference was it was better executed and it was more, it wasn't, hmm, I don't know what, there was no botches for one. The other True. thing was it was more exciting. True. It almost felt like when Nyla Rose and Rio was doing their, their outside the ring stuff, it was just trash, right? Yeah. And, and, yeah. and that's no disrespect to Rio. Rio is a great performer. And you know what? I feel like Shayna and Ken have great in-ring chemistry together. Like they know how to feed off each yeah. other. They know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and they just they work well together. Night Rose has no one. She worked well with no one. Night Rose doesn't work well with anyone. And that's the thing. She brought down the match. And Sorry. that's the thing, man. Like this is this is my this is my philosophy. It don't matter how good you are in the ring. If you don't have a good partner in the ring that you're going against, pay attention to me, folks. If you don't have the right type a person in a match with you yeah you not it's not gonna be a good match period i put it this way if you're right if your opponent is causing the majority of the botches mm. being the lazy one yeah and you doing all you can them people are gonna notice that especially when you can tell one person green up was good rio was amazing yeah but her opponent, she should have had a way better opponent. Things would have been a lot better. But instead, you got got women like Io Shirai, Mia Yim, putting on a clinic in their match. Yep. And then Shayna Baszler, Candice Ray putting on one of the a five-star match almost. Yeah. Like straight up, four and a half. Yeah. It was a good match, man. Yeah. Counter after counter, move after move. And I want Shayna Baszler, how she moved away with moon soft locked in. Yeah. And Candace tried to fight out of it, but nope, Shayna had to put her down. Man, when I seen that, I thought, yeah, she did. It's over. She it's done. But I, I respect the heart she had, man. She yeah, was. She, she really was. She tried to get up out of it. I was like, she ain't getting out of that. She tried. She, 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 she got choked down. It was a different end. You know what thing I really like about the match? It was a clean win for Shayna. Nope, they didn't. No force went in interference. Why, why, why would they? Why would they do this? I mean, it, they, it, they, they have booked her strong anyway, even though she's been walking with her, her friends uh, from the other the other. other Two members of the four horsemen of the MMA, they haven't man. really interfered. They allowed her to be a brutalized. They, she had a few that kind of interfered. Yeah, well, she right. got the second title reign because of their interference. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But, like I said, it was just so long. long ago. Ago. They did it earlier this year. Right. With, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with Ilsa Rodden. Wish her to do the great thing about going heel. Man, man, I, love, her career. Oh, man I love her oh, music. Oh, my goodness. That interest, oh, man, man, it's too she, dope. Hot. She looks good. Anyway, <laughs> so, don't get us started on our thing with the Asian women in Dilly. Don't get us started with right. Io Shirai, Oscar, Kyra Singh, Zion Lee. Man, man, don't, don't get us started. Don't, I'm sorry. Don't, why do you even have to say that? I just, you had me and started thinking about them. I couldn't help myself, folks. They, I, okay, they're great performers. They, the women they imported from Japan are some of the best wrestlers, period. Like, and that's the funny thing about Japanese wrestlers in general. They are just some of the most athletic women. And I remember, like, even when they, like, Bull Tanaka, when I was a kid, man, mm -hmm. it was, oh, my God, amazing. And, you know, a lot of these wrestlers, they pulling from Shimmer, and, uh, yeah. over in, uh, the, uh, was it Wild in Japan, or what's the name of it? It's Shimmers, right? Shimmers. That's another one, too, though. Oh, man. It don't matter anyway. We ain't trying to. Yeah, harp on that. We're talking though. about the wrestlers that came, so yeah, man. They, they, they are they've been important the talent, talent the best hard and they've been talent here. Yes. And they they know how to adapt. They are yeah. they know how to adapt to their, their environment. Yeah. So man.
But anyway, let's go on. Like you want to go? Let's talk about Big Max Johnny. Johnny wrestling back. Johnny day. freaking wrestling. And Shane Thorne. Yeah, Shane Thorne. Yeah, he, they put on a good match. Like not surprised over Johnny yeah, Gargano. Not yeah, surprised. Johnny Gargano. So not jumping ahead on myself, but I really can't hope and can't wait to see him in the title picture. As a matter of fact. I would love to see a fader for him in a fader for him. Wait, wait, wait. We can get to that part. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta go into that. Oh, we haven't yeah. talked about the fourth person that matched yet. We gotta wait. Oh. We gotta yeah. wait because we, gotta wait, cause we haven't talked about the fourth person yet. We gotta but, wait. Wait. But, they, don't, they don't know. Wait. But, wait. But, but we're gonna skip ahead so we can talk about that. The, the Street Profits. Undisputed Era. Yes. They had a great tag match. They went back and forth. Not surprised that the Street Profits lost because we know they going to Raw or yeah, SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know it. Stand. We know yeah, it. Let's keep it real. It's still a good match. I man. mean, it was a good match, but I mean, let's be honest. We all know what's where where they headed, man, and that's good for them. I personally think that at this point in their career, like they're being used for months now on Raw anyway, yeah. like doing promos yeah. in the background and. So I, I mean, you know, watch my red cup, man. It's my red cup. I've got my red cup again. I'm gonna start making. I'm gonna attach it to my butt or something so I don't forget it. <laughs> hey, I don't know, man. I just I feel naked without my red cup right now, man. But I'm gonna put some lean in that junk, man, for real. You know. Ooh, we. That's gonna be good stuff. Before we even talk about the full part, I can't. I got to show some respect to my main man, Pete Dunne and Danny Burch. They put on a good British Strong match. Man. Yeah, that was that. I'm glad they put Danny Burch out there in the single match so that everybody can mind yeah. how good he is. He's because he's good, man. Yeah, yeah, he's good. yeah, he is. He like, held his own. Yeah, I'm gonna say this, man. NSC UK in general has some of the best British wrestlers. Yeah, period. yeah. And one of the things I like about uh, allowing Pete Dunne to really showcase his, that British strong style, and it's just like hold oh, up. You know, one thing I cannot. Stand though, and this is I'm not even the type of person who's really squeamish, but when you have his matches and some of the things he be doing with the body, it really Ooh. makes my skin crawl. Like the fingers and yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not a squeamish person either, but it's me and hard moves I walk, but them hands, those fingers he do, it's crazy. Oh, I think my hands hurt just thinking about it. But I mean, at the same time, man, dude, so he's more than just that. He's technical, athletic. He can, yeah, he can move, and I mean that. Don't, the man, don't play with it, man. Like, oh straight up. God, but yeah, my fingers aren't thinking about it. Just think about how you just, I'm sorry. Man. Ah, but, I need step I, on your hands. Mm -hmm. But it'll make him so good, though. He's not yeah, taking the drug manipulation stuff. He, he takes it to another level. But, oh, I, I gotta go there. Tommaso Chompo's back, folks. Yes! He's back. I've been trying it's to hold on. I've been holding on to that. I've been trying not to jump, jump ahead of myself, but... Man, I'm excited to see him back, man. man at the, the end of uh, the match, you know, that just made, you can tell Autumn Page is kind of worried, like, man, I got competition now, for real. Because got a cold and trouble. I'm going to be honest with you. Yo, like I was going to say anyway. Now man, you go That's for my it. dream. Now Fade the four away, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Chapa, Adam Page, and Ben freaking Bailey, <laughs> baby. I mean, yeah, Adam Cole. Dang, man, I messed up. What? Ah! I do it too, though, so. Hey, well, they both names thought out with Adam. It's, but, and you know what's so funny though? They both are part of true. I mean, technically, if you want to be technical, I mean, if Adam Page was to lead the WWE, he would be a member of the elite, I would think, because he was also you, part of But you know what's funny? At them. one point, Adam Cole was in the Bullet Club. You know, yeah, he, he got, so he got to keep that point when he came to the So yeah. they both were part Bullet Club members at one yeah. point. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, but, I would, the only difference was Adam Cole won his match this past week. Yeah, that's true too. And but he got some competition now, boy. He really got some heavy competition. Oh yeah, so but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't call man. <laughs> boom. Okay, that's yeah. the best part in the entrance. You yeah, got to sit there like this. Boom. <laughs> man, but that'll be a great fatal forward. That that definitely need that match. You definitely have. And I can see it happening. Who wins? Yeah, man. To be honest, I don't care who wins because I win because our four will be great champions. I'm, I'm, I'm like you, man. I really want to pick a favorite Finn Balor. I'm um, just saying, but yeah, man. I don't really. I mean, just some, someone win. Did they have to make it happen? I'm just saying. I need the demon back, man. I miss the demon, man. We need the extra demon. Like, I but want you know, designs and stuff. I know someone was saying like they would love to see the Finn go against the demon Finn Balor, and I was like, no, I don't. 
And I'm going to tell you why. I feel like the demon, Finn Balor, is still technically undefeated, by the way. Mm -hmm. Don't need to go against the Fiend. Because if y'all really want to see that, play WWE 2K. And play that out y'all self. Don't yeah. mess up my fantasy or let him. I, I would like for him to stay undefeated as the demon at least for as long as possible. And I would also even like to see the fiend go undefeated for a very long time as well. I don't really want to see even one of them lose a match only because it's just as a mystification. Yeah. You know, because they're basically built on this whole mystic vibe similar to how the Undertaker was. Yeah. So when he would be, he went so long being undefeated at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you exactly. have to, yeah, yeah so, if you, I mean, even though at the same time, I mean, we've already seen a match between Bray Wyatt and, I mean, you know, it was, was it the thing, did the demon go against uh, Bray Wyatt? He or? did in one, yeah, they first looked through it was, yeah. Bray, Bray Wyatt is fame. You know, the only way I would be okay with a fame and bout and demon match, if they're one of them was going to lead the company, where it's like, this would be a great way to put over the Fiend. If, like, if, say, if, if don't, let it, don't let it happen. I don't know how it's going to happen. If, Bray, if Finn Balor's going to leave, mm -hmm. WWE, and it'd be a great way to put over the Fiend by beating the Demon. Mm -hmm. They don't like to see, be okay with that match, but right now, yeah, but right yeah, now, okay. no, because they're still good and still like their prime. It, it, would, it would ruin their, their mystique. At the end of the day, listen to us, people. Please do. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And with that, man, Let's let's let's. I think we've already pretty much acknowledged it, but we both agree NXT was better than AEW. But it those was. Ratings though. Let's see. No, well don't don't sigh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't don't do that. Don't sigh. I actually wanted AEW to be great. I do. But hear me out. So AEW got over a million views. Oh, they that was a, that was a good numbers. And oh, that's okay, some great show. numbers. For okay, show. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be shading them like that, man. I mean, okay, yeah. They, I mean, it was the middle was subpar, but I mean, overall, I mean, I mean, even though you, even Raw has subpar yeah. matches in the middle. Yeah. So I mean, it just. I, I'm gonna say this, since since you bring it up, I, and this is where NXT or Vince McMahon or Triple H, whatever, one of those two, main Triple H. Right. <laughs> At this point, was like, you know what? We're going up against AEW. We got to put everything online. And they yeah. definitely, definitely did that. They, they put definitely, uh, definitely every did. single title, except the Cruiserweight cool title. And, and, uh, and no, we didn't get Rod Strong in the match. Oh, an American. Yeah, he man. showed up, but he didn't fan title. But yeah. he didn't really need to yeah, because no, no. it was already a stake two hour show. Yeah, you had the women's title, tag title, and the NFC title. At the end of the day, that's, the, I mean, the original three. You covered the I'm just saying, you, yeah. Well. I mean, you didn't need the cruiserweight or the North American title. They right. still, you know. So, I mean, I think, and then not just that, they had great matches all around. Whereas, and and then at the same time, they've been doing a little bit longer. True. And I mean, so they know how to run a show. Granted that they still, you know, tweaking this two-hour performance mm -hmm. that they're doing now, you know, but they've been doing. TV a lot longer, and yep, then yep. Triple H knows what he's doing. Yes, I was thinking to myself honestly when I was thinking about it the day before. I was like, "Dang, they both have a two-hour show." I was like, "Man," because in my mind, I'm like, you know, I'm so I'm so used to my head still thinking of doing a one-hour show because I know when they first yep. started, they did a one-hour show. The other part was on the WWE Network, so I'm like, "Well, I could just watch." Uh, yeah, the other half, second half of AEW, and then I'm like, "Wait, it's two hours." Thanks for reminding me, by the way. Because I was, Ooh, two hours. and I was like, oh man, WWE is petty as hell. That's <laughs> all the weeks. They petty as hell. <laughs> That's why I think I'm like, yeah, petty. Like they made it two hours now to go up. And I was like, yeah, this truly is a great time to be a wrestling fan. It yeah, reminds man, me in a lot of ways, like uh, of other Monday Night Wars, only because you know it brings me back to when I used to, you know, flip between the two. Yep. Not flip between Monday Nitro. Monday Night Raw, yes. watching, you know, with my great grandma house, or, you know, and we'd be watching it, and I'd be in the other room watching Monday Monday Night Raw, then I'd yep. run in her room and watch Nitro with her, and I'd run back, and I'm running back like a kid on, on Rillin' or something, I'm just 
Woo, 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 where you go? Where you go? Where you go? You know Man, and you know, this is like the only night I would rush home, get my homework done, get chores done, get take a shower and everything. Cause I'm right. not missing none of this wrestling. Right. But oh, thing, man. one thing about today now, you got DVR. Ooh, it's saving grace. Man, it's so you know, you grace. can always watch one and go back to the other one. True. Now, you talk about, you just brought up time, and you brought up your childhood. Speaking of your childhood, on SmackDown, we get to relive our childhood one more time with the E most such a fine man of all sports entertainer, Brock. He's gonna be on SmackDown. He's gonna go SmackDown. You talk about Vince pulling out of stops. You know he had to do a lot to get the rock come back on TV. Man, he said he retired on social media. He ain't retired though. I was a little pissed about that, but that was that was, I saw I kinda of think that was some playing shit. <laughs> it's like man, I'm so I'm so famous now. I just I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my thirty five million followers on Instagram and Twitter and every other social media platform until I announce my tired to them. And they was like, oh, what the hell? What? And then it was like, what? Oh, uh -huh. man. Like, yeah, I quietly retired, guys. It's like, what? When did this happen? Like, you quietly did I miss retired? The, did I miss that match? I'm like, hold up, man. Let me count his money. Help him count his money for me. Hold up. One million and 21. Jeez. One million. 35. I'm just skipping numbers because I'm he, sure he, he has retired, to. He's but he's going to be on Smackdown. Hey, man. Along with Kofi and Brock Lesnar for the other championship, we're going to get Eric Rowan and my boy, the big dog, Roman Reigns. We're going to get a tag match for the four horsemen of wrestling when you get Sasha and Bailey team up against Becky Lynch and her frenemy, Charlotte. This is going to be a big premiere for them on Fox. Because all four of them can go. What time is it? I don't want to miss this premiere. Yeah, it's happening soon, man. I don't want to premiere. Yeah, it's happening soon. I want I want. I want to see a rock bottom. I want to see a people's elbow. I want to see a eyebrow right. I want to see something. I want to see electricity. I'm going to let home have this for a minute. It's going to be electrifying. I'm excited. I rock is cooking. I'm excited, man. When that music hits, I'm going to get the goosebumps like he be getting. Oh, my God. I'm feeling my childhood. I'm going to say this, man. Like this week alone, the season premiere of SmackDown on Fox, season premiere of Raw, the season premiere of AEW, the official two-hour premiere of NXT. Man, look, if you a wrestling fan right now, and you have a lot to look had a, had a You know you had a lot to look forward to. Yep. But then next week, you, gotta, you get to do it all over again. Yes. And you guess what? You get to see us again do it all over again, talking about all these different platforms of wrestling. Uh -huh. Going on uh -huh. on the big on the big TVs, uh -huh. on the major networks. Yep. And I'm personally excited right now because yep. this once again, and I'm gonna keep saying this until y'all get tired of me saying this is a really great time to be a wrestling fan. It is. You know what I'm saying? I feel it like is. Raw has really stepped up, SmackDown stepped up. Yeah, of course, even though they didn't have much improvement to do, but I'm just saying, and NXT is always one of the best shows you can yeah, watch. And a lot of people are going to start seeing that now that it's on USA Network yes. that what us fans of NXT already knew. NXT is that shit. But <laughs> Number one brand, guys, in my heart. I mean, hey, I, always, I always enjoy their taste. You know, this. honestly, man, I really, with the whole... Like AEW being sold, I really hope that they eventually start picking up NXT and bigger venues. I really would like that. That'd be cool. I mean, that will be dope. Yeah, man. I mean, because I mean, you want to really compete with the viewership. You want to kind of put them on the same. Yeah. In the I mean, same it's, type definitely, of it's definitely worth testing the water and see yeah. how it does. It's definitely worth because I mean they do it a takeover. So let's see how they do on a, mm -hmm. a weekly thing. I mean, if, if it doesn't work. It doesn't work because it's still yeah. gonna be NXT and it's still gonna be great. Yeah. So it's it's definitely worth trying. And speaking of NXT, in the Cruiserweight on WWE.com, it's not WWE Cruiserweight title. It's now the NXT Cruiserweight Champion. I'm not surprised about it. I'm happy. We talked about this a few yeah. videos ago. Out getting rid of 205 Live and mixing it in with NXT roster. Mm -hmm. We talked about this. Mm -hmm. We predicted this. Mm -hmm. So hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Top guy doing top Kale. guy stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Mario and Kale. You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. We try to give you guys a heads up. We yeah, try. man. So all yeah. I'm saying is, man, shoot, with that, that happening, and then Leo Rush come making this comeback and getting the opportunity man, yeah, next man. week. Next week. For the uh, title. Please, Leo. Uh, he, he needs, he needs, he needs. 
to win. Like it'll be great on him. He's still a great performer, and that really got him to really shine again. So I'm happy for him. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm gonna do get my bill up turn as I show out. I'm finna walk away. I don't know. You didn't look, nope. but you nope. can't touch. Nope. 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 nope.